Science for Grade 6 Learners, Second Quarter. Let us start our class with an opening prayer. Hello! Welcome to our class! Hello, young learners! Hmm, have you ever been to swamp or grassland or beach or reef? Hmm, what kind of plants can you find there? And what kind of animals live in there let us try to explore and discover the marvels of science through this module allow us to show you the amazing way scientists work with ideas as you will move through this module you will find engaging questions about the interactions among living things and non-living things teacher encourages you to find the answer to these questions by providing varied activities. We expect that through this module, you will become more self-seeking in science and make your learning meaningful. Are you excited? Because I am so excited. My dear pupils, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to discuss the interactions among living things and non-living things in tropical rainforest, coral reefs, and mangrove swamps. So, what are we waiting for? Let's begin! Interactions among living and non-living things in tropical rainforest, coral reefs, and mangrove swamps. Okay, so before we proceed to our lesson proper, let us play this matching game. You will be divided into two teams. Each team will take turn in choosing two squares. If the two squares are the same, then the team gets one point. And if the two squares are different, then Click on the red circle to hide the picture again. Students or pupils must try to remember where the matching pairs of picture or words are. Ready? Let's play the game! Now, my dear pupils, this time, I want you to close your eyes. Listen and feel the sound that you're going to hear. Hmm. It was very relaxing. Okay, now you may now open your eyes. Can you tell the teacher? What have you heard? Or please describe what you've heard. Hmm. Oh, yeah? You heard the wind in the trees. Awesome. Leaves rustling. Great. What else? Oh, yeah. It's the sound of the wind the water and the animals that comes together 
Okay, you also heard the birds chirping. Because... Oh! You think that's a rainforest? Okay, my dear, you are correct. Ching. This looks so cool. Now, my dear, let us define first what is an ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Ecosystem is a place where living things live continuously, interacting with other living and non living components. And you know what? The part of the ecosystem where the living things including us, live is called the habitat. The living components of an ecosystem are called the biotic factors, while the non-living components are called the abiotic factors. Examples of biotic factors are plants, animals, bacteria, fungus, and protist. While examples of abiotic or non-living things are water, soil, air, minerals, and light. An ecosystem can be natural or artificial. The natural ecosystem operates by itself without being interrupted by human beings and this type of ecosystem can be as terrestrial 
or aquatic. Examples of terrestrial ecosystem are the grassland, forest, desert. While the examples of aquatic ecosystems are river, ocean, and estuary. While on the other hand, artificial ecosystems are man-made and manually or artificially maintained. Examples are sugarcane, corn plantations, rice or wheat fields, gardens, orchards, and dams. Let us now start learning about the tropical rainforest. These are woodlands composed mostly of all tall trees and extensive foliage cover. They are regions with year-round warmth and abundant rainfall and occupy 6 to 7% of Earth's surface. They produce a large percentage of the needed oxygen on Earth. Rainforests grow in four major layers. The first one is the emergent layer, followed by the canopy layer, then the understory layer, and the forest floor. More than 70% of the living things in the forest live in canopy and sub-canopy. Hmm, interesting. The shady understory mostly has small palms, young trees, and non-woody plants. And the floor of the forest has a thin layer of fallen leaves and branches as well as scattered seeds and fruits that some animals gather and eat. Accounting for the bulk of the nation's forest cover, the Palawan rainforest is considered to be the last ecological frontier in the archipelago nation. It is not only plays a crucial role in maintaining the ecological balance of the entire region. It also ensures that local people have sufficient clean drinking water and is pivotal in preventing landslides. Let us now move on to coral reefs. These are also one of the most biologically diverse ecosystem on earth and are called the rainforest of the sea. They are mostly found in shallow tropical seas. Coral reefs are made up of limestones which is secreted by corals and deposited in a period of thousands to millions of years. Wow! Is coral reefs important? It's absolutely yes! They provide homes for a lot of marine animals which make marine food chains active and continuous. Coral reefs can be of three types. The first one is the fringing reefs. Fringing. <laughs> Okay, there you go, the fringing ribs. The second one is the barrier ribs. Barrier. Okay, and the third one or third type is the atolls. Atolls. Okay, there you go. Fringing reefs are underwater stands of living coral animals that grow fairly close to the shore. While the barrier reefs mm -hmm, occur further offshore and are separated from the shoreline by channels called lagoons. And atolls are roughly circular reef system that surround a deep or large lagoons. 
my dear pupils, presenting the apple reef. Apple reef is the second largest contiguous coral reef in the world and the largest one in the Philippines. Apple reef, the largest atoll-like reef in the Philippines, is a submerged platform that is submerged of a 34 square kilometer sub-triangular northern and southern atoll-like reefs separated by a 30 meter deep channel that is open to the west. Okay, interesting, right? Let us now proceed to mangrove swamps. Mangroves are trees that grow along the coast. They are usually found in shallow waters along the mouths of bays, lagoons, and river. Mangroves can tolerate salty water because their roots can filter out the salts before absorbing water into the plant. Amazing, right? Mangrove roots form breeding grounds or nurseries for many fishes and marine living things. The intertwined roots protect the larvae and young animals from predators and act as a home to rich communities of marine invertebrates, vertebrates, and algae. They also provide shelter to seasonal visitors like egrets, migratory birds, and the birds receive nourishment by eating sh shrimps, crabs, and other mollusks which live among the roots of the mangroves. Here is the photo of Bohol Mangrove Forest. Bohol is blessed with mangrove forests around its river systems, estuaries, and offshore islands. The island has one of the highest biologically diverse mangrove ecosystems with 26 mangrove species found on its shores. Wow, that is awesome! We are so lucky that we are in the country who is rich and diverse in ecosystem. Do you think that we have to take good care of our ecosystem? Yes! Yes! And let me share to you this Republic Act number 8550, an act providing for the development, management, and conservation of the fisheries and aquatic resources, integrating all laws pertinent thereto and for purposes. Section 1 title, this act shall be known as the Philippine Fisheries Code of 1998. It is declared policy to limit access to the fishery and aquatic resources of the Philippines for the exclusive use and enjoyment of Filipino citizens. Another principle of policy is the protection of municipal fishermen. Can you cite some more act and law that surely encourages to take good care of our ecosystem and environment? Okay, I will wait for your response, my dear. Now, teacher wants to check if you really learn and understand our lesson for today in science. Let us start answering this learning test 6.1, wherein you're going to supply the missing words to complete the sentence. You may choose your answer from the words on the box that you can find on the right side of your screen. Let us start. Number one, blank are woodlands composed of tall trees. Hmm. Can I see your answer? Huh. Is that rainforest? Well, you got the correct answer. Good job. Number two, rainforests grow in blank major layers. Hmm. Four, four major layers? Correct. Oh, 
the top part of the rainforest is canopy. You said canopy? Good job. Very good. If blank does not stop, there might no more rainforest after 15 years. This is so sad. Oh, can I see your answer? Is that <gasps> deforestation? Great, you got it, my dear. Good job. Rainforest is also known as the blank of the earth. Uh-huh. The lungs of the earth is correct lungs. Good job. Oh, I hope you've got five points. Good job, dear pupils. Let us now proceed to learning task 6.2. This is answerable by true or false. Let us read this each statement carefully to get the correct answer. Number one, corals are living organisms. True or false? Mm -hmm. True is correct. Number two, ecosystems can be destroyed by human activities. Hmm, is the statement true or false? Mm -hmm. What's your answer? True is correct. Number three, mangroves, coral reefs, and rainforests are not examples of ecosystems. Hmm. What did you say? Can I see your answer? <gasps> okay. Your answer is false. It's correct. Good job. Okay, next, my dear pupils. Different kinds of ecosystems, such as rainforests, coral reefs, and mangrove swamps, have their own unique environmental conditions to which living things have to adapt for survival. So, what's your answer? True is correct. Good job. And number five, destroying the ecosystem can harm humans and other forms of organisms. Hmm. What did you say? What is your answer? True is correct. Good job! Wow! Another perfect score? Oh, that's amazing! Okay, for learning task 6.3, which is drag and drop, you may open your LMS to answer this learning task 6.3. You're going to study the pictures, drag and drop each living organism to its appropriate ecosystem. Which one is a biotic factor or abiotic factors of tropical rainforest, coral reef, or mangrove swamp? Wow, we are now in learning task 6.4. This is multiple choice. You're going to choose the letter of the correct answer. For number one, which is not the function of mangrove roots? Is it a, build up shoreline. Hmm. B, filter out salts. C, remove impurities and pollutants from the water. Or D, absorb and store salt from the water. Okay, you may now write your answer. Let me check. Okay, letter A is correct wow good job number two what is the main reason for diminishing rainforest in the philippines is it a deforestation b climate change c erosion or d dynamite fishing 
Okay, so what is your answer? Letter A is correct. Great! Number three. Which of these is an example of a biotic factor in an ecosystem? A. Temperature B. Plants C. Decomposers Or D. Animals Okay, what is your answer? Hmm, is that letter A? Wow, amazing! Okay, next, number four. Which of this is called the rainforest of the sea? Is it A. Lagoons B. Coral reef C. Beach or D. Estuary mm -hmm. Your answer is letter B. Wow! Correct! Great job! And last Coral reefs are made of A. Limestone B. Algae C. Sand or D. Rocks Limestone is correct! Wow! What is your score? Perfect! That's really awesome! Wow! Good job! For your assignment, you're going to make a slogan poster showing ways to help conserve and protect the environment. Take a photo of your drawing, then submit it to our science Google class. I am looking forward and excited for your outputs. Now let us watch this short film by Romaine Penn.
I hope you enjoy our today's discussion. Well, thank you so much and goodbye!